So the first thing actually in healing the gut is removing that. We all know what an impact stress has on the gut. Two, in replacing, we wanted to replace depleted nutrients. We actually did that through intravenous nutrition to allow her gut to heal. We were able to give her some intravenous nutrition that allowed her body to start healing faster and she could start feeling better before those, the gut was healed and could start doing it through oral replenishment. Re-inoculate. The probiotics that we use often have a very powerful impact on the immune system and help to decrease some of the inflammatory cytokines that are often involved when using uh, or when having gut dysbiosis. And so using uh, these probiotics were helpful. Repair, we would give her specific amino acids that would help produce glutathione production as well as repair the lining of the gut. And lastly, rebalancing. Taking time to let the body recover. Doing things to establish healthier habits was critical to her feeling better. Then in, in approaching her hypothalamus pituitary thyroid adrenal access, we looked at first stress. How are we going to help manage that? And then we started using nutrients to rebalance. She had a very low iodine level in her blood, so we started replacing iodine. In fact, there are a couple of studies looking at megadosing of iodine that actually can help resolve fibromyalgia symptoms, as well as using T3 to help reduce fibromyalgia symptoms. And then looking at her adrenals and giving her nutrient and botanical support to help replenish and rebalance the adrenals, as well as making sure she got adequate rest. And then um, lastly, we looked at her mitochondria. And some of the nutrients that I, I focus on when looking at the mitochondria is coenzyme Q10, green tea, nicotinamide, riboside, alpha-lipoic acid, glutathione, omega-3 fatty acids, N-acetylcysteine, resveratrol, and acetyl L-carnitine. Now that's just a small list. Uh, there are many more that, maybe even ones that you're using, but I found that Using some of those or in a combination, immune support or mitochondrial support formula can really be helpful at getting patients to get the nutrients so that they can make the appropriate changes in their mitochondria and produce the energy that they need.